Yo, what is going on guys? Tony here coming at you with the official 3,000 subscriber Q&A. Before we get into it, like I said in my announcement of the Q&A video, thank you guys so much for the support. Really do appreciate it. And I said I was going to do it maybe like a week later, but we got a lot of con uh, questions right in the beginning. And then the video, you know, started to die down a little bit after the first couple of days. So I figured, fuck it, let's just go into it and answer these questions because I really wanted them. Because... You guys asked the hard-hitting questions. You know, if I just sorted my comments by uh, by top comments, you can see we have the first four questions are just absolute bangers. All right. So we have Mr. Centristrip asking if I'm a virgin. Jerome VDA asking if I will show my tits in a vid. We got Little Light asking if he, I will impregnate him. And then we have Doxy Termite asking how big is my dog. All, all valid questions. You know, I, I appreciate the originality, honestly. So, for the first question, honestly, are you a virgin? I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. No, um, that's all you need to know. I uh, I have sex with apple pie, so I consider myself to be well-versed in the sexual uh, prowesses. All right? I know how to get around. I've tried many different pies in my time. Uh, now, now, with the will I show my tits in a vid... Now, honestly, before YouTube, with all these, like, ISIS killings and shit, I probably could have got away with it. But now, Coke might not want to put an ad on a video with my tits in it. So maybe once my My Free Cams career starts off, I might be able to do that for you guys. But unfortunately, at the moment, I'm not going to be able to. I know YouTube's trying to trying to cuck us. And then for the third question, if I will impregnate him, um, for the fourth question, how big is my dong? I'm going to say, yeah, I, I don't fucking know. Have you ever, have you guys actually ever, like, took out a measuring stick or a, a tape measurer and actually measured your penis. I feel like that's something that we all think of, but we never end up doing. So I'm just going to guess average to a little above average. I'm going to talk myself up a bit. I don't know if, if average is like two and a half inches, I'm doing pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I can't say I've actually measured my, uh, my penis to a ruler. So that's, um, that's something I might have to try right after this video, to be honest though. So the next question, an actual question, not that those weren't actual questions. I do appreciate all questions. I'm going to answer all of them because fuck that. You put the questions on there. I'm going to fucking answer them. The memester asks if I can show us your setup. Um, uh, yeah, I tried to take a little picture here of my setup uh hopefully it doesn't look too shitty i had to take it with my tablet because i broke the phone camera that i have on my my samsung galaxy and i got it replaced with some shitty one from china so the, the pixels on it are pretty blech so hopefully it looks decent but as you can see i got a two monitor set up my monitor on the right hand side is the one that i mainly use and it's a 144 hertz monitor the one on the left was my first monitor i got which was a, a 60 hertz monitor i've got I don't, I don't want to go extremely through the, the specs or anything, but I've got, uh, I don't know, a big SteelSeries mouse pad. I got the SteelSeries Rival Mouse, uh, Logitech G710 uh, keyboard, and why there's like shit underneath it is because with this desk I have, it's very, very echoey, so when I had it on the actual desk, it made a lot of, a lot of clickety clacks, and I wasn't having it. Uh, my computer, you can, you can see down there, it's, uh, it's a Phantom 410 is the case. I might do an actual setup video where I talk about the actual specs in it because I've made a lot of improvements to the computer since I've gotten it. And then, yeah, I've got a, I got a chair. Um, it's nice. I've got great lumbar support as always. And my headset, I have a Weeb one that I used to use, but now I've got the Sennheiser Game One. It's an acoustic headset. It's pretty. It's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Although I do like hear myself talk more, which I kind of find awkward. I don't like hearing my voice. It kind of makes me want off myself. And then for the mic, I just got a generic old mic stand right there. And I put a sock underneath it so that it doesn't dig into my desk too much. It's, we're, we're living on a budget right now. And then the mic is obviously a blue snowball. And I got the pop filter on there so that my P's sound perfectly, perfectly posh. Okay, so next question is going to be coming from Matteo Productions, Ask, asking a little heavy-hitting question. Why did I start YouTube, and then what is my favorite subject? I'm assuming that's school. If it's not, then shit, like, what's my favorite subject of porn? Uh, that could be that could be in how we interpreted it. But why did I start YouTube? Um, believe it or not, I've had many, many YouTube channels in my, in my life. I didn't 
really get into this like seriously though until I actually made this channel. Um, I mean, I tried to get in seriously, but I was I was honestly unfunny and the videos were shit. But I had the first channel I had was back when Modern Warfare 2 came out and I did Call of Duty trick shouting. Honestly, I might be able to download a clip of my shit off off of YouTube real quick so you can see see what I did. <laughs> Um, those were the days though. And then after, after that, um, happened, I stopped doing that. I think I had like a Minecraft channel and I, it actually went really well. I got like 300 subs or something like the first month. And then I stopped because I realized, wow, Minecraft's awful. And then I made a few channels with my roommate and we just tried to do, we tried to essentially be like game grumps, but we were not as good at games or as funny as them. I mean, they're, they're not good at games, but they're, they're way funnier. So we weren't good or funny. So nobody watched them. So that, that was something that stopped. And then let's see. And then I went on to, um, Tony and I started doing CSGO and then CSGO just became AIDS after, uh, the rank patch or something happened. Everybody deranked themselves and then just made it unfun. So I stopped playing that. And then I was playing like uh, battlefield and, and shit like that. No one really cared about that either. And then I played for honor and people did that. But, I mean, I guess the, the reason I started YouTube was just because I enjoyed playing games, and when I had moments with friends or even by myself that I thought funny, I thought people might like to see it. And as far as my favorite subject goes, it would be entrepreneurship. Um, I think it's just cool to learn about how to make your own business, and I want to have my own business one day. So we got Lord Quinn 5, one of, one of my favorite memers, all right? He's asking a buttload of questions right here. So he's asking hold up, how old I am. I'm very old, unfortunately. I'm like almost 22. I'm, I'm 21 right now. Um, where do I live? I won't give the exact address because I know you, some of you guys are crazy fucks and you'll, you'll like want to show up to my door. You might swap me or you might show up with an edible arrangement and give me fruit. I don't know. That could be cool. But I live in the United States in Michigan. That's about all I'll say. It's, if you don't know what Michigan is, it, it looks like a hand there. What games do I play besides For Honor? Honestly, I've been trying to find some more games. Not because I don't dislike For Honor. It's just because it gets really fucking annoying playing the same person over and over again. Um, so I just got Tekken 7 a couple days ago and I'm trying to learn that but there's honestly a huge skill gap so that's very very difficult um i've been playing league of legends for almost four years maybe a little over four years so that's a game i play off and on i used to take it really seriously with ranked but now i just play it because it's a game that all of my friends have and we can just hop on for a few games and actually play games together um addition to that i mean i have battlefield and shit like that and i have the season pass for it but i i kind of stopped playing it because I, I it got boring i'm hoping to get like a playstation in in the future and get some some of the exclusives there and maybe get uh the the new cod that comes out it looks pretty sweet uh the next question they ask is am i going to do face cam vids it's something that i thought of i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm going to do it uh i could obviously i could buy a webcam right now if i wanted to but honestly i don't know it's kind of weird you, you think about it, yeah, it's it's not nothing crazy to show your face on the internet, but it's it's I don't know. It's kind of weird for me. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that just yet, maybe at a later date, but I definitely see myself doing it in the future. My favorite game. Now, this is a question people might not necessarily understand or know. My two favorite games are Mirror's Edge, which if you don't know. It's like a first person parkour game where it's like the city's just really beautiful and the, the map design's really cool. So that's one of my favorite games. And then my other favorite game is Dishonored. Dishonored is a really cool stealth game with a, a really nice art style by Bethesda. But, you know, instead of making cool games like that, we're getting Skyrim from the Nintendo 64, Skyrim for your mobile phone, Skyrim for your calculator, Skyrim for your dog, Skyrim for your mom's dog, and, and then Skyrim. But, yeah, so... Those are my two favorite games, Mirror's Edge and, uh, I almost said Bethesda, but, uh, Dishonored. I, I really enjoyed those games. Just, they were really different and they just, they were a blast to play. I haven't played too many single player games, like, all the way through in a long time. And those ones just really stuck out to me. Now, he asked if I like Star Wars. And he, and he asked if I don't answer them, be sure to answer the last one. Now, honestly, I like Star Wars, but I don't consider myself, like, a, like a super fan. I think I've seen every, uh, every movie once. I haven't seen seen the last two that have come out it's not because i dislike it it's just that i think 
think it's just okay it's yeah that's basically how i feel about it honestly that's my reaction i think star wars is cool i think battlefront 2 looks pretty cool and uh, I mean, it kind of just looks like battlefield with lightsabers but yeah star wars is cool i like star wars but not not like a huge super fan next question is by andre tombesi and the question is, do you or do you not have a sexual attraction for the female character in the Samurai campaign? Answer honestly. Now, this is a very debatable question. Now, when, when you're playing with Kensei, and it's the chick, obviously, you're like, okay, she's a badass. That's a, it gives a few hot points, but then she takes that helmet off, and I'm like, damn, girl. So, I mean, I don't. you guys should choose for yourself, but I'd smash. The next question comes from Brad the Man, and he asks, Transformers or Ninja Turtles? And why do you like Kensei? And why do you like Kensei? And do you have a PS4? And if you have a PS4, what is your username so I can 1v1 you? <laughs> okay, so for the first part of that question, I'm gonna have to go with Ninja Turtles. They've been there since the beginning. Transformers are just trying to do a bunch of weird ass shit now. They had like dinosaurs, and now they're going like to World War shit. I, I don't even know. And why do I like Ken C? And also, why do you like Ken C? Um, I don't know why I like Ken C. It just kind of kind of drew to me, I guess. I just like the samurai, and he kind of looked the coolest without looking the weebiest, if that makes sense. And I don't have a PS4, but I want to get a PS4, obviously, soon. Um, probably by the end of the summer, I'd hope to have one, just because I have some other purchases that I'd like to make. But I'll definitely have a PS4, and then I can hopefully maybe get, like, a capture card or something, so I can record some of the gameplays and then upload those, or just stream directly from it, because that's decent as well. So, yeah. Okay, next question's coming here from Guru Gamma, and he asks, Does Deus Volt? Now, this might seem stupid, but he expertly wrote this, because... If you guys are unaware, I'm about to give you a historical lesson about Deus Volt, which means God God wills it. So it's like God God does this shit. Like, yo, I, I stabbed this dude in the heart, Deus Deus Volt. God willed me to stab this man in the heart. So he's asking if God wills it. And obviously the answer to that is yes, because if he didn't will it, we would un be unable to retake the Holy Land. So that's that's an expertly written question right there, and it's only three words. Next question coming in from Lazy Pops. Hey, Tony. Sorry, in bestiality. So, I, I asked this in, in my Q&A, and I was expecting somebody to actually put this answer. So, um, no, I don't. Only, like, like pie fucking and, and stuff like that. I, I, I'm not going to go up to, like, a like a goose and try to rape it or anything. That's 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 some messed up stuff. But, hey, you're, you're in what you're into. There's weird shit on the internet. I saw a chick get cereal eaten out of her ass by another chick. Not by choice, but peer pressure. And then the next party says, also, you're a chill funny mofo. Thank you. What do you feel your inspirations are and where do they come from? Um, honestly, I don't have inspirations. It's just kind of my friends that I talk to. We say a lot of stupid shit, and I guess that's kind of molded my personality, like how I always say unfortunate. It wasn't me who originally started it. I think someone in my group group of friends said it, and then whenever some bad happened, we would just say unfortunate. So kind of like my, my personality and stuff is molded through them. Um, as far as like YouTube goes, I like I said, I don't really have too many inspirations. But if you want no YouTubers that I actually watch, which there's not that many, um, it's probably TGF Bro. And then Immortal HD is really good. And then I also watch the official podcast, which is by Critical. If you don't know Critical, he's really fucking funny. So, I mean, I don't really get my inspirations from them. Those are just people I watch. And yeah, like I said, just kind of my friends. So if my friends weren't here, um, I, I kind of honestly be just a boring average white male. So thank you, friends. The next question coming up from Leo Rodriguez asking, I know you picked PC because its servers are better and you have your Rep9 Kensei, but if you would come to console, you would, if you would, would you come to console? You would lose all of your content on PC, but you'd be able to play with more of the subscribers and people in general since PC players base drop or something like that. So yeah, if you guys didn't hear in like one of my update videos, uh, yeah, the PC player base is, is pretty abysmal. Uh, but I have grinded out on PC quite a bit, and there's it's kind of like a double-edged sword. So let's say I stay on PC. Not as many people don't get to play with subs, but I get to keep all of my gear and it's 60 FPS. Honestly, I don't think you guys are aware of how good 60 FPS is. Holy shit, it's so good. And I go to console, I lose all my shit, which, you know, I, I kind of spent a, a good amount of money. I bought season pass for it. So that's that's like 50 bucks right there. And then uh, I'd be able to play with subscribers and I don't know, I'd be kind of weird to get used to the game with like the parry system and stuff on 30 frames, but it would be a lot more fun probably to play with more people in a less toxic community. So I guess if I had the choice, I would do it. But the, the 30 frames thing really, really puts me off, to be honest. And Danza's JD coming in next, asking, why did I choose Kensei as my main and not another character? I, I honestly don't remember entirely. I think when the game was coming, 
coming out. I didn't play in the betas, mind you. Um, I just looked through all of the characters and I always thought samurai were pretty cool, but I didn't want to be a complete weeb. So when I saw like things like Orochi and Nabushi, I thought I would people would expect that I'm a, a Naruto anime watching nerd and I don't want to be that. I kind of wanted to be like the guy who watches other animes like uh, Cory in the house and Spongebob. So I picked Kensei because he looked badass but the least weebiest I think and he had a really easy move set too. Like his move set was like you, you couldn't scroll down on it. So I thought like wow this is going to be easy to learn but there is a lot of stuff you can do with Kensei so that was really cool. The second to last question, I believe. Well, it's many questions. What is my favorite color? Oh, this is from Daniel Rogers, by the way. My favorite color is red. What is your favorite beer? Everyone likes beer, let's be honest. Yes, that is very true. Now, my favorite beer used to be New Belgium Snapshot, but I was recently informed that they discontinued it and I wanted to kill myself. So if I had to say my favorite beers right now are either Southern Tier Cherry Ghost or New Belgium Fat Tire. I don't really like this stuff too much like Labatt's and Bud Light and Budweiser. It all kind of tastes the same to me. Um, so yeah, that, those those are probably my two favorites. Uh, what is my favorite dessert? Um, damn, that's a hard one. There's a lot of dessert out there. I'm going to go with tiramisu, which if you don't know that, it's like an Italian coffee cake thing. It's, it's a lot better than it sounds. Don't worry. What is my favorite game other than For Honor? I mean, my favorite games, as I alluded to earlier, were Dishonored and Mirror's Edge. But at the moment, ah, it's kind of hard to say, really. I don't play too much other than it. I don't have as much time as I used to play games with like working full time so i play like stuff to record and then yeah so i mean i guess i'd have to say league of legends which is it's not a great choice to be honest and what do i like about him well your last name's rogers i have an uncle whose name is roger um daniel it's a very basic name i feel like you're pretty safe uh you wouldn't try to stab me in an alley so yeah you just seem like a safe guy who's my uncle and then the final question which is kind of a uh kind of a a deep one if we're being completely honest right here and it oh god it just it just left my screen guys we're going into shock right now what's going on okay i'm gonna find it and then i'm gonna let you guys know what it said all right i got you last question super super cyber foo ask what do i think about the state of war on its community and the rumors of a dying game um sadly i do think the rumors are are slightly true the game is dying if you look at like the numbers on twitch it's really bad and it's honestly a decent game to watch um i know people like skies used to get upwards of 2000 and i seen saw him stream just like the past few days or week and he was pulling in maybe 600 viewers so it just shows you how much people are kind of going down about the game and how people are leaving not caring as much about the game um, but knowing Ubisoft hopefully with games like Rainbow Six it just takes a little bit of time for them to make it on the rebound and, and shit like that uh, I, I hope but because I really do enjoy the game it's it's a lot different than any other like fighter out there I'm honestly really shit at fighters so this was something really cool for me to kind of get into and actually get good at like keep in mind I was never actually really good at games but I feel like I'm actually really good at this game which really upsets me that no one Fucking plays it which is probably why I'm good because nobody plays it okay but yeah uh, I kind of just think that the, the community on PC is definitely the most toxic and the most keyboard warriors because like people on their computer just like they get disconnected they go into red and they're like oh my god uber surfed kicked me from my garm oh no please please report and then it's it's just shit like that and it doesn't doesn't help out so if we could all like be nice maybe that would be cool but regardless it is what it is this has been the end of the Q&A it has been long but I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I wanted to answer everybody's questions because I felt like I would be mean if I didn't. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Here's to a 3,000 more subscribers, which is 6,000 for all you math majors out there. My name is Tony, and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace. I know you ain't know someone like me. Your eyes too nice, but you can't. You too fancy to empty and you chose someone you need something